Inflation is forcing many people to buy cheaper cuts of meat, drive older cars, wear last year's wardrobe, and make some hard decisions about housing. But with the day-to-day -day nibbling at the paycheck, we often lose sight of the long-term bite inflation is putting on the American pocketbook. In the second report of our six-part series, Dave Winters tonight looks at how inflation is changing the rules of the game. Owning your own home, it's the American dream. But because of inflation, each day it is becoming more of a dream for many people. It's coming, becoming almost impossible for young people to buy houses. And unless the government were to step in or the interest rate drop drastically, there's, it's going to be real affluence in the future to own a home. Like the rest of the nation, Roanoke Valley home prices have been skyrocketing. Back in 1968, it only took about $18,000 to buy a home in the Cave Springs section of Roanoke County. Now that same house costs almost $50,000. And a home in the Hunting Hills section, which now costs $118,000, could have been purchased 10 years ago for only $41,000. It used to be that a young couple just getting married could go out and get a GI loan, uh, an FHA loan, and have a house payment of $50 or $60 or $70 a month. Well, that's all changed. A young couple getting married now, uh, unless they have real good jobs and a real good profession, cannot afford to buy a home even with government subsidization. There's no way they can buy a house. While home prices have been increasing an average of 18% a year, food prices have risen at a more moderate annual rate of 8%. 10 years ago, 89 cents would buy two dozen large oranges. Nowadays, 89 cents will only get you four. Another example is chicken. A whole fryer sold for 27 cents a pound in 1969. It now sells for 63 cents a pound. But why have food prices risen so slowly compared to other items? Well, I suppose that we'd have to attribute that to the efficiency of the food production system. I suppose that consumers will be surprised to learn that food prices haven't gone up more than that because we're so aware of increases in food prices because we buy food daily or weekly. And uh, I suppose that uh, it seems that food prices go up every time we go to the store. As food prices increase, changes take place in the family budget. A typical family of four, which spent $49 a week for food in 1975, just three years later was spending $59 weekly. But one thing has not changed, and that is the reluctance of shoppers to cut their food bills by buying non-brand name items. Supermarket officials say many shoppers are wrong when they feel off-brands are not as good a quality as the more expensive big-name brands. And while most people would agree it is cheaper to prepare foods at home from scratch, few are willing to go through the trouble. Grocers say shoppers continue to buy more expensive frozen foods and pre-cooked items. They say it's because shoppers want the convenience offered by these time-saving foods. Convenience also plays an important part in why car prices are so high. A typical mid-sized car in 1969 sold for around $3,200 and included optional convenience equipment like automatic transmission, power steering, power brakes, and an AM radio. Mid-sized cars in 1979 are smaller than their predecessors for fuel economy and cost more because of both inflation and air pollution equipment. The uh, price of the car is just about doubled in the last uh, uh, 10 years. but. Uh, uh, this uh, extra equipment has some to do with it, the emission control equipment that's had been added to these automobiles, but of course the, the big thing is the economy itself that's added to the price of the car, the inflation. But uh, uh, people uh, still, uh, still demand these, uh, the optional equipment on these automobiles. In looking at the changing cost of homes, food, and cars, one thing has become evident. Despite inflation and price hikes due to government regulations, Americans are still willing to pay more for things than they really have to. Consumers still want extra appliances in their new homes, more options on their cars, and want to spend as little time cooking a meal as possible. But there are some people who are trying to cut corners by doing more things for themselves. Graham Wilson covers that tomorrow night. This is Dave Winters, Channel 7 News.